drive longer with the Michelin Defender tire, backed by a 90,000 mile limited warranty. Michelin, a better way forward. And welcome back, everyone. We are Severe Storm Central and showing you what's going on right now in Frederick, Maryland. Check out how dark it is this morning. Not a lot of volume on the roadways, and I think that's a good thing. You don't want to be on the roads with this happening for you right now. Thunderstorms rolling on through. Multiple severe thunderstorm warnings happening for us right now. That does include... A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for your area. More, and it gets into uh, the Beltway in D.C. as well. Uh, Baltimore County, by the way, you are under a severe thunderstorm warning until 8.45 this morning. Primarily wind, high wind is going to be a big risk that you'll have today. But well, once you take a look at a big old shell cloud captured by Mike Seidel's live crew in Juliet, Illinois yesterday. Look at that in a lightning flash. Incredible stuff here. You usually get these big, violent gusts of wind from the downdraft that is accompanying these shell clouds, but this is likely what you're going to see along the squall line this morning as it rolls through the northeast. Now, if we go to Fort Wayne, Indiana, we're going to give you a recap of what happened yesterday all across the Midwest. We're going to go to Remote 4, and that's where Scott Newell is this morning. Scott, how bad did it get yesterday? Well, it was pretty amazing. Uh, let's just show you the pictures right now, because... The rain just kept coming and coming and coming. It looked like a hurricane here, especially with the wind. We hear up to five inches of rain fell in some parts of the Fort Wayne area. Also, the winds were up to 60 miles an hour, so you can see why I said it kind of felt like a hurricane. Not quite, obviously, but it was coming down. The streets were flooded. A lot of cars were having difficulty with the flooded streets. Some of the sewers clogged up as well. A lot of people had flooded basements. And the big problem here right now, power outages. We've been checking with the power company and in southwest Michigan and here in northern Indiana, 14,000 people about still remain without power. The crews are working hard to fix that up. And we started with a nice sunny morning, but now things have clouded up quite a bit and the temperature seems to be dropping a little bit. So uh, here in Fort Wayne, fortunately, they dodged the big bullet here, but of course in other areas, just a little further east of here in Michigan and also in Ohio, a lot of problems there. Mike, back to you. All right, Scott, appreciate the report. We're definitely going to watch you at this part of the country.